Well, so here we are again in the world of 2020. And all right, first thing I'm just going to say, if you are an easily offended person, don't watch this video, all right? If you are weak-minded, don't watch this video. If you have an open mind and you like to read through the lines of different things, watch this video because I, I don't do this anymore, all right? And I feel like there's something burning inside of me right now needing to express my thought and express my opinion on how I am seeing the world today. And I am seeing the world fall to shit. Alright, I am seeing people at odds. It doesn't even matter what skin color you are anymore. It's like, if you think this one certain way, you are a criminal. If you feel this certain way, oh, you're a biggest. Oh, you don't like that color? You're a racist. Like, alright guys, this has got to fucking stop. Like, this is getting retarded, alright? The first debate happened last night, and, wow, it was really intense. But, if you look at it, Trump was getting bombarded by two people, and Trump is just one person. One against two, that's that's not the way it's supposed to go, alright? The, the Democrats, they are trying to steal this election. They are doing everything in their power because they know that they can't buy Trump. They've never been able to push Trump to do what they want to do. So they've started all the COVID. They've started BLM. And you can get pissed off at me all you want. This is to trigger leftists. This is to trigger liberals. This is to trigger people on my Facebook that get so mad about things that I say. I don't care if y'all get mad, delete me, take take me off. That includes you, Jesse. But I mean, you you can get pissed off all you want. You can laugh about it. But man, if if we vote a Democrat in, just watch our rights being taken away, guys. We are living in an, an a socialistic, communistic era right now. These these masks. We have to wear them everywhere, everywhere. Whenever Dr. Fauci said that the masks don't do any good, but yet we're still all sitting here wearing a mask. And guys, there's times that I've walked out without my mask. I go places without my mask. I am perfectly fine. Everyone that I have seen that, wear, that doesn't wear a mask, they are completely fine. It's the people who want to believe big stream medias and who want to follow the Democrats. The people who want to follow the Democrats are freaking retarded. I'm sorry, okay? I have family that follows the Democratic rule and I don't agree with it. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on them for being a Democrat. I'm not gonna hate on them for following into the Democratic's order, but you're not going to sway me anymore to change my mind of what I believe. I believe what I believe, and you know what? I think Trump has the best views for us as an American people. God elected Trump to be the President of the United States. God did not elect Joe Biden to be President. He did not elect Hillary Clinton to be president. He elected Obama and George Bush and everybody who has been a president in the United States. God elected that person. Yes, we, we voted the people in, or really didn't, but we voted the people in. But it's God's order. This is God's plan. He has everything already planned out. Years and years and years from the beginning to the end. 
God always has everything planned out. Nothing else. It's only God's order. And God is getting pissed, guys. I hope y'all know. Like, you, you think that we're all going to be all fine and dandy whenever we're on the brink of a civil war, a revolutionary war, uh, a World War Three, a World War Four, a World War Five, a World War Seven. Like, I've talked about this for years, and so have multiple other people. And we kind of just sit back, and we're just like, okay. It's like, we see this stuff going on, but of course, people don't want to wake up and listen. But now, more people are waking up and listening and actually seeing that, hey, there's something bigger at work that we don't even know about. Guys, you know we only know about maybe 10% of what actually goes on in the government. The other 90%, we have no freaking idea what actually goes on. So... I mean, just, just just take the evidence, guys. Just look it for yourself. Do not be a weak-minded individual. Be open-minded. Do your own research. Have a thought process for yourself. Don't just let someone tell you, oh, this is the way that it is, so you need to believe it this way. That right there, that that's that is you being a puppet. Whenever somebody else tells you, this is what you need to think. This is how you need to say it. This is how you need to walk. This is how you need to talk. This is how you need to spell. You're being a puppet. You're a puppet. So anybody who gets pissed off about this message that I'm speaking right here, you're a puppet. You're a puppet and change my mind. Because I'm not a puppet. I am a person that is going to think for myself. I think only for myself. I don't let anybody else try to steer me and tell me that I need to think this way. And I wish that everybody else did that, but sadly, no. That's not gonna happen because after 9-11, George Bush came on the television and was like, don't believe conspiracy theories. After that, nobody believes conspiracy theories. Conspiracy the definition of conspiracy is two or more people in an agreement with something that I've said several freaking times, guys. Oh, man, it feels good to actually speak out on a video here. I haven't done this in a minute, so it felt really, really good to speak about this. And again, y'all can get pissed off. You can get irritated. You can ban me, you can block me. One of my ultimate biggest goals is to get blocked by Facebook. Facebook, block my ass. I dare ya. It's not like it's gonna change anything. I still speak to people regardless. In person, I'd rather do it in person than over online now. So if you wanna actually shut me up, just take me out take me out because until then Charles for president 2036 you don't believe me just wait because I'm coming for you I'm coming to take y'all down and you better be ready because I don't just have me beside me I have God in front of me and God will make it happen later y'all and for you global Elias people God, y'all are sick, dude. Y'all are y'all are dark, demented, twisted. I have no I have no ways of words for you. And for you, dirty Joe, you are a dirty ass greasy old man. All right? You need to go back in your basement, stay under there for as many years until you die and you rot. Because that's how I feel about you and I feel about the Democratic Party. So, guess what? Fuck you.